हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू भोलानाथ एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी द क्वेश्चन टू इन अलॉयज लेसन इन क्वेश्चन टू स्टूडेंट्स वी आर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अलॉयज हाउ मेनी वेज हाउ मेनी मेथड्स आर देयर फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अलॉयज अलॉय कैन बी प्रिपेयर बाय फॉलोइंग फोर मैथड ये फोर मैथड्स आर देयर स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट वन इज फ्यूजन मैथड रिडक्शन मैथड इलेक्ट्रो डिपोजिशन मैथड एंड कंप्रेशन मैथड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस फोर मैथड जनरली स्टूडेंट्स यर आई हैव रिटन फोर मैथड This way we are going to prepare the alloy. Now fusion method, students. Fusion method. This is the most common method for preparation of alloys. When the constituent metals of alloy do not differ much in their melting point, the mixture of the metal is melted together in pure state. Okay, students. When the constituent particles of constituent metals of alloy do not differ in their melting point, when the melting point is mostly similar, students, the mixture of metals is melted together in pure state. but when one of the constituent metals has higher melting point than the other then students what we are going to do the constituent having higher melting point melted first then it is added to the constituent metals which have lower melting point understanding students then we have to add the the constituent particle which are having lower melting point the addition is done with constant stirring stirring is generally done by using graphite rod we have to use graphite rod students there is a possibility of oxidation of metal due to the exposure to the atmosphere this can be overcome by adding charcoal powder to avoid the oxidation students we have to add the charcoal powder then the mixture is cooled one simplest example of alloy formation is the manufacturing of brass brass can be prepared by this method students by fusion method and alloy of copper and zinc brass is a mixture of copper and zinc first copper which is having melting point 1055 degrees celsius is melted then we have to add zinc metal with melting point 419 okay students first we have to melt the copper then we have to add the zinc is added in calculated quantity students after stirring the molten mass it is allowed to cool slowly to get brass use of charcoal powder why we are using charcoal powder students is made to avoid the oxidation to avoid the oxidation students we have to add the charcoal powder in molten mass during the alloy formation now second method students second method of preparation of alloys that is reduction method in reduction method students the word reduction is coming that means an alloy is obtained when the reduction of suitable compound generally an oxide of one component out of so many metal when one component is oxidized state is carried out in presence of other component metals the reduction can be carried by suitable reducing agent we have to use the reducing agent like carbon carbon is very important reducing agent that we have to add to avoid the to reduce the metal oxide which does not interfere the alloying process in any way addition of suitable fluxes is also done to rid of the unwanted impurities we have to add the fluxes as also students to avoid the unwanted impurities to remove the impurities example of alloy preparation by this method include the ferro tungsten we can prepare the ferro tungsten by this method aluminum branch is also prepared by the reduction of aluminum oxide we have to re reduce the aluminum oxide and we can prepare aluminum branch in presence of copper the component metal in electric furnace mostly this is done in furnace electric furnace okay students now third method is students to prepare the alloy is electro deposition method in this method students the word is electro deposition that means we have to pass the electricity in the solvent salt solution and there is a deposition the word is electro deposition method according to this method an alloy preparation an alloy of component metal is obtained by simultaneous electro deposition of the component from electrolyte containing their salt solution okay students so this is done together both the metals will deposited together by adding the by, with the help of the electricity students all the metal will whatever present in the salt solution will deposit at once example students here brass brass and alloy of copper and zinc can be obtained by this method students when electrolysis of a mixed solution of copper and zinc cyanide dissolved in potassium cyanide is carried out okay students so salt of this copper and zinc students which is dissolved in potassium cyanide as electrolyte students the copper and zinc will form the brass at one of the electrode now students fourth method is compression method in this method students powdered form of the components metals okay students we have to use the powder powdered form of the component metals are mixed and then the mixture is compressed under high pressure in mold okay students so we are using the both the components should be in the powder form the molded article is then heated to temperatures just below melting point of alloy this heating result in 
form of welding of the tiny particles to one another there is a welding is taking place in students when you are applying the pressure example students woods alloy is metal alloy students containing bismuth tin lead cadmium can be obtained by this method so this way students we have prepared the alloy these are very important for the examination point of view these are four methods we have five we have discussed here like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you